Good evening and thanks for joining us. It feels like summer outside, but cooler temperatures will soon make their way to the Wabash Valley. Overnight lows could drop to the 30s come this weekend. So is your home ready for heat? New Sense of the Yates has more on what you need to do to start prepping. It's the winter weather many are already starting to dread. The phone's already starting to ring with some of the customers that are getting ahead of uh, getting ahead of the game a little bit. Ethan Rayburn with Pates and Heating welcomes those calls because he knows later in the season when temperatures dip. This is when our phone will start ringing uh, kind of off the hook uh, with people that had heating issues the night before. To make sure you're not one of them, keeping warm this winter starts with checking your furnace. This is a shot you need to get the boss actually working on a furnace. If you can change your filter kind of every other month at the, at the minimum, is, is best. If your heat still isn't working, take a look at the thermostat. Newer thermostats, um, sometimes those were installed and they need batteries and a lot of people don't realize that. It's a simple fix, but companies still recommend having a technician. All right, when we check a furnace out, service your furnace, our primary concern is the safety of the equipment. At least once a year. So we do a visual inspection of the flue pipe, gas line, any electrical lines that are coming into the equipment. 75% or more of our customers are heating with natural or LP gas. Um, is not something to you know, play with as the average homeowner. And routine maintenance will not only keep your family warm, but safe. In Terre Haute with photojournalist John Tim, Lindsay Yates, News 10. It's also recommended to always have a working carbon monoxide detector near your furnace.